for race one with stagecoach gambler Casimir Eiffel, Fittipaldi, Salzbrook Dandy, Wild Cherry, Escape Plan, I Wish, I Wish on the outside, a field of seven behind the gate. In Casimir Eiffel to a break, and here they come. Hair off and pacing in the middle of the track. Salzbrook Dandy is going for the early lead. Stagecoach Gambler now on the inside takes the early command. Salzbrook Dandy racing in second, then Fittipaldi coming away in third. Racing now to be fourth. That's a wild cherry. Then I wish, I wish. Escape plan is six in the early going. And after the break uh, and your early trailer is Casimir Eiffel. Hey, race on past the opening quarter mile mark in 30 and 1. The new leader is Salzbrook Dandy with Mark Hay. They lead it by a length and a quarter stage coach Gambler driving in second. Racing third in around the turn is Fittipaldi then Wild Cherry looks at it from fourth. Off the turn now down the lane in front of the stand for the first time. It's Salzbrook Dandy with the lead. Stage coach Gambler racing in second. Fittipaldi in third and there goes I wish, I wish to the outside now in third one minute four fifths past the half Lonnie Soaks and I wish I wish now third now second going after that leader now racing fourth with live cover that's a wild cherry Fittipaldi looks at it from fifth up on the outside escape plan is now on the move and Casimir Eiffel trails they race down the back stretch for the three quarters I wish I wish is the new leader and there goes wild cherry now on the move from second three quarters reached 131 flat it's I wish I wish wild cherry comes to call on the outside and is moving strong they race neck and neck round the turn escape plan is improved to be third they race on past the seven eights off the turn and down the stretch for home I wish I wish on the inside wild cherry on the outside they battle for the wire wild cherry wild cherry now out in front it's gonna be wild cherry to win it i wish i wish second escape plan will be three time for the mile 203 Ladies and gentlemen, now returning is the unofficial winner of race number one. That's number five, Wild Cherry. An eight-year-old brown pacing mare by Chill Factor from Loella Hanover. She by Big Towner. Owned by Tommy Gunn of St. John. Trained by Andrew Ward. Driven to victory this afternoon by Jill Berrio. Five, Wild Cherry in 203 flat. Records her, her fifth victory of this 2009 racing season. Quarry sign remains up. Hold all tickets. The gate's in motion for race two with Nordic Fever, Fern Hill Treasure, Dillinger's Lady, Fundiana, Satan's Little Number, Future Secret, Camco Wynette, Bell of the Band. A field of eight. Behind the gate. Here they come. Hair off and pacing, they leave five wide into the turn. It's Fern Hill Treasure in between horses going for that early lead. Nordic Fever protects that rail position. Now the new leader, Fern Hill Treasure, now races in second, up to be a third and along the rail. That is Dillinger's Lady up on the outside. Fundiana now races in fourth, followed by Satan's Little Number. And they're racing in six. Camco, Wynette, and Future Secret. And your early trailer is Bella the Band. 
Time for the opening quarter, 30 and 3 fifths. With that lead, Nordic Fever leads it by a length and a quarter. Fernhill Treasure right there in second. Up on the outside, that is Fundiana racing in third. They make their way off the turn down the lane for the first time. Racing in for Dillinger's Lady, fifth on the outside, Satan's Little Number. They make their way on past the half-mile station. 101 and 2 and Nordic Fever leads this pack into the turn for the 5-8. Racing in second, Fern Hill Treasure getting the good trip. Pundiana hasn't, hasn't seen the wood yet and now is racing and moving on from third. Racing in third now is Fern Hill Treasure. There goes Satan's little number three wide down the back stretch. Racing now to be four, that's Future Secret. Six on the inside, that is Dillinger's Lady. They race three wide. Past the three quarters, 132 flat. On the inside, Nordic Fever maintains that lead of three parts of a length. Upon the outside, Satan's little number in between horses, Fundy, and, and here comes Fern Hill Treasure getting to the outside. They race past the seven eights, off the turn and down the stretch for home. Nordic Fever, Fern Hill Treasure on the outside now, challenging for that lead. Fern Hill Treasure, Nordic Fever on the inside. It's going to be Fern Hill Treasure getting up. Nordic Fever finishing second. And third on the outside was Dillinger's Lady. I'm for the mile 203 and 1. Turning now is the official winner of race number two, number two, Fern Hill Treasure. A Froyo Brown Pacing Mare by Western Paradise from the Quick Comeback Dam DeVita. Owned by Paul Sewell of Rosedale, Gary Wright of Grafton, Gary Wright Trains, Sam Hodgen in the bike this afternoon for the victory. Fernhill Treasure stops the clock 203 and 1. And for Fernhill Treasure, that's her ninth win this season. Congratulations to owners Paul Sewell and Gary Wright and Sam Hodgen. Fernhill Treasure, the winner in 203 and 1. Kid is rolling for race 3 with Magical Alex, C'est le bon temps, Rebecca Down, Pensacola Sioux, Caviar Mason, Mary Be Lucky, Julie Gilmore. A field of 7 behind the gate. They come, and they're off. Going out for the early lead, Magical Alex in along the cones. Rebecca down, now racing in second. Up now, three wide, now racing to be second. There goes Pensacola Sioux. Caviar Mason coming away uh, fourth, and c'est le bon temps. Mary be lucky and pretty in pink. Your early trailer is Julie Gilmore. Down the back stretch for the opening quarter mile they race. It's Pensacola Sioux, the new leader. They race on past that quarter, 30 seconds flat. A magical Alex is now racing in second. Rebecca down in third. Caviar Mason wheels around the turn in fourth. Then c'est le bon Tom, Mary B. Lucky, and Julie Gilmore gets underway from the back of the pack. They race off the turn down the lane first time. And Pensacola Sioux with Stephen Trites leads it by a length and a half. Caviar Mason now up on the outside. It's on the move now, racing in second. They race on past the half. 101 and 1. And now third is Magical Alex racing now in fourth. That's Rebecca down. Cillabon Tong gets underway on the outside from fifth. Then Mary B. Lucky and Julie Gilmore. Past the five eights they race and Pensacola Sioux leads it by a length. Upon the outside, Caviar and Mason in the second. Then comes Magical Alex. Here comes the backfield. There goes Julie Gilmore. Three wide as they make their way on past three quarters in 133 flat. It's Pensacola Sioux. Now racing in second is Caviar Mason. 
continuing to improve on the outside. Julie Gilmore in third. Magical Alex looks for racing room from uh, fourth as they pass the seven eights and charge on down the stretch for home. Pensacola Sue, Julie Gilmore in the middle of the track. It's Pensacola Sue, Mary B. Lucky on the outside, but it's Pensacola Sue to win it. Mary B. Lucky to finish second. Julie Gilmore was third. Time for the mile 204 and three. Turning now is the unofficial winner of race number three, number four, Pensacola Sioux, a five-year-old brown pacing mare by race in Hanover from the threefold dam Niafold. Owned by Trish Moran of Port Hood, Nova Scotia. Trained by Patty Swit of St. John. Driven to victory this afternoon by Stephen Trites for Pensacola Sioux in 204 and 3 records her second victory of 2009. Congratulations to owner Trish Moran. Trainer Pat Eastwood and driver Stephen Trites for Pensacola Sioux, now your official race winner. The gate is rolling for race five with Mag AM, ROF Race in High, Ammon Iman, Our Major Card, Shady Martin, J.K. Shadow, Bold Ryan. Off field of seven, behind the gate. They come here off and pacing Mag A M N Ammon Iman leave for the early lead. Up on the outside, Ammon Iman now taking command. Mag A M racing in a second. Driving now to be third. That's our major card. Then R O F racing high in fourth. Racing in fifth. That is Shady Martin, followed down the back stretch by Jake K. Shadow. And your early trailer is Bold Ryan. They race on past the opening quarter mile mark 29 and 4 Ammon Iman leads it by two open lengths Mag AM driving in second our major card looking at it from third ROF racing high gets underway from fourth then comes Shady Martin in fifth as they make their way off the turn down the stretch first time for the half it's Ammon Iman and Jill Berrio leads this field by two and a half lengths they make their way on past the half mile stage station. One minute, four fifths. Up on the outside, ROF racing high now races for second. Mag AM maintains that position on the inside. Racing now in fourth and along the rail. That's our major card. Up on the outside, Shady Martin gets underway from fifth. They make their way down the back stretch for the three quarters and Ammon Iman leads it by five open length. Mag AM in second. ROF racing high races in third 132 flat it's Ammon Iman with Jill Berrio well out in front Mag AM is racing in second ROF race in high in third our major car needs racing room from fourth they have an eighth of a mile left to go and Ammon Iman takes this field on down the stretch for home it's Ammon Iman Mag AM still in second but they're not gonna catch Ammon Iman this afternoon Afternoon, Mag AM finishes second. Our major card gets up to be third. Time for the mile 202 and four. Turning now is the unofficial winner of race five, number four, Emin Iman. A three year old bay pacing colt by Peruvian Hanover from the direct scooter dam Ombro Lapidary. Owned by Mike Murphy of Moncton, trained by Rosaire Berrio, driven to victory this afternoon by Jill Berrio, his second winner on the program. For Ammon Iman in 202 and 4. The gate is rolling for race 6 with Secret Fantasy, Hacks Boy, Just Donegal, Val Leader, Materialism, Elm Grove Bandit, Port Hill Digger, Longworth Legacy on the outside. A field of eight behind the gate. Here they come. They're off in pacing Val. 
leader from the middle of the track is leaving out. Secret Fantasy in along the cones going for the second spot. And Materialism is on the move from third. Racing now to be fourth. That's a Hex Boy. Followed off the turn as they race down the back stretch. That's Longworth Legacy looking at it from fifth. Racing in six, that's just Donegal and Elm Grove Bandit Port Hill Digger is the early trailer. They race on past the quarter in 29 and three. There's action on the outside. Val Leader, now the new leader. Racing in the second, that's Materialism. Two and a half lengths back to Secret Fantasy in third. They race off the turn now down the lane in front of the stand for the first time. Racing in fourth, that's a hacks boy. Long word legacy looking at it from the fifth. Six on the inside. Just Donegal and the Elm Grove Bandit Port Hill Digger trails this field. The half was in one minute Two fifths and Val Leader with Lonnie Stokes takes him into the turn for the five eighths. They race materialism, a tight second. Racing now to be a third on the outside. There goes Hex Boy Secret Fantasy in fourth. Down the back stretch. They race for the three quarter mile station and Stokes going to work on Val Leader. They take this field on past the three quarter mile mark. 131 and 3. Materialism. Two and a half lengths back in second. Racing now to be third. Longworth Legacy on the move. And uh, racing in fourth in between horses. That's Hacks Boy. They have an eighth of a mile left to go. Off the turn, down the stretch for home. Val Leader lengthening that lead with every stride. It's Val Leader. They're not going to catch him. Val Leader to win it. Finishing second, Materialism. It's close for show between Elm Grove Bandit and Longworth Legacy. Time for the mile. 201 and 3. Turning now is the unofficial winner of race six, number four, Val Leader. A four-year-old bay pacing gelding by Yankee Leader from the Dexter Nukes Dam Valerie Sealster. Owned and trained by Brian Foster of Burnsville. Driven to victory this afternoon by Lonnie Stokes for Val Leader in 201 and 3. Recording his seventh victory of 2009. Gates in motion for race eight with Dusty Elaine Buster, Million Dollar Down, Cole Jolt Hanover, Woodmere Big Splash, Winning Magic, Miramisi Gooch, Violet's Best Aid. A field of seven behind the gate. Here they come. Hair off and pacing, million dollar down in between horses. Dusty Lane Buster on the rail going out for that early lead. Cold Jolt Hanover from third, now second, going after the lead from the outside. Racing now to be fourth. That is winning magic, and Woodmere Big Splash went to a break. Racing now in uh, fifth, that's Miramichi Gooch and Violet's Best Abe looking at it from six. The early trailer is Woodmere Big Splash. They make their way on past the opening quarter in 29 and four. It's million dollar down with the lead. Cold Jolt Hanover looking at it from uh, second. Dusty Lane Buster races in third. Winning Magic looks at it from fourth. A gap of four lengths back to Miramichi Gooch in fifth. Then Violet's Best Abe and the trailer Woodmere Big Splash. They race down the lane first time with Million Dollar Down and Steve Mason leading it by a length and a half. Past the opening half mile marker in one minute, one fifth. Racing in second, Cold Jolt, Hanover, Dusty Lane, Buster in third. Into the turn, they race for the five eighths marker. No action, no one moves on Million Dollar Down. Past the five eighths, down the back stretch for the three quarter mile. 
mile mark. It's a lead of two open lengths, million dollar down. Finish it, racing in a second. That is Cold Joel Hanover, and there's action on the outside, winning magic from fourth. 131 and two past the three quarters and million dollar down has opened up a seventh length lead. Racing in second, Cold Jolt Hanover winning magic in third on the outside. Dusty Lane Buster in fourth. They race off the turn and down the stretch for home. It's million dollar down. Cold Jolt Hanover in second, but million dollar down is much the best today. Finishing second. It's close between Cold Jolt Hanover and Dusty Lane Buster. Time for the mile. Two minutes, four fifths. Turning now is the unofficial winner of race eight, number three, Million Dollar Down. A four-year-old bay pacing gelding by Million Dollar Cam from the No Nook Stam Kadiva Hanover. Owned by the Downey Stables of St. John, trained and driven to victory by Steve Mason. This afternoon, three, Million Dollar Down in two minutes, four-fifths. Her first win, her, his first win of 2009, two minutes, four-fifths. It is rolling for race nine with Crowley Creek, Emily J. Down, Outstanding Putnam, Eloquent Desire, Quick a Minute, Spring It On Me, OB Viking, Eight on the Outside is Big Shot Al, The Field of Eight, Behind the Gate, Here They Come, Here and pacing Crowley Creek and along the cones is living out racing now to be second and finding a spot on the rail that's outstanding Putnam up on the outside quick a minute is on the move now races in third racing now to be fourth that's Emily J down followed down the back stretch as they make their way on to the opening quarter eloquent desire racing in six OB Viking then spring it on me and the trailer is big shot Al they were past the opening quarter in 30 and 1. It's Crowley Creek taking the field into the turn. Now leads it by a length and a half. Racing in the second outstanding Putnam. Quick a minute drives in the third. Now tips to the outside. They race off the turn and down the lane. Here they come for the opening half. It's a Crowley Creek. Quick a minute comes to call on the outside from the second now and driving in third outstanding Putnam. They're past the half mile in one minute, four fifths. Emily J. Down is in fourth. Eloquent Desire, fifth on the outside. Racing in six, that's Bring It On Me. Followed into the turn by OB Viking. And the trailer is Big Shot Al. They race past the five eights down the back stretch. It's Crowley Creek by three parts of a length. Racing in second, quick a minute. It's Outstanding Putnam still there in third. But there goes Eloquent Desire from fourth. Three quarters reach 131 and two. It's Crowley Creek now by a length. Quick a minute racing in second. Racing now to be third on the outside. Spring it on me is on the move. They have an eighth of a mile left to go. It's Crowley Creek with the lead. Racing in a second. Quick a minute on the outside. Spring it on me going for the third spot but they're not going to catch Crowley Creek today. Finishing second, quick, a minute, and third was Spring It On Me. Time for the mile, 2.01 and 3. Turning now is the official winner of race number nine, number one, Crowley Creek. A six-year-old bay pacing mare by Island Fantasy from the Dream Maker Dam, Dreamalator. Owned by Kelly Berrio, St. John. Trained by Colleen Clancy and driven to victory by Jill Berrio. One, Crowley Creek. In 201 and three, 
recording her fifth win of 2009. Congratulations to owner Kelly Berrio, to Colleen Clancy, the trainer, and Jill Berrio with his fourth winner on the afternoon. in motion with Pipe Major, Mike Campbell, I Gotta Go, Sam Hodgins, Skill Factor, Mike Downey, Orly Orr, Scott Hubbard, Magnetic Benka, Jill Barrio, All-Star Dragon, Stephen Trites, Perfect Trick, Lonnie Stokes, BJ Cruiser, Mark Hay, a field of eight behind the gate, here they come. Pair up and pacing there, four wide, leaving the game. On the inside, Horley, yours going for that early lead. Now racing, now to be second as I gotta go. All-Star Dragon is racing in third as a skill factor went to a break. Now racing in fourth is Perfect Trick. Magnetic Banka racing in fifth. Inquiry sign up on the board. Pipe Major looks at it from sixth. The opening quarter was in 29 and one. Racing now to be seven. That's BJ Cruiser. Skill Factor trails. They make their way round the turn. We have a new leader. I gotta go and Sam Hodgen lead this field off the turn down the lane first time it's i gotta go orly yours in the second up on the outside now all-star dragon is on the move for trites they make their way on past the half 58 and 3 i gotta go racing in second all-star dragon tucks into the inside orly yours in third up on the outside there goes perfect trick with lonnie stoke from fourth down the back stretch they race for the three quarters and i gotta go leads it by a length and three quarters racing in second is all-star dragon perfect trick in third there goes barrio with magnetic bank and fourth, 128 and four past the three quarters. It's I gotta go, Sam Hodgen by two and three open links. Racing in second, all star dragon, perfect trick in third. Off the turn and down the lane for home they race. It's I gotta go, leading this field to the wire. Racing in second, all star dragon, but it's all I gotta go today. All star dragon, second, finishing. Third perfect trick. Time for the mile. One fifty-seven and four. One fifty-seven and four. Turning now is the unofficial winner of race eleven. The one A I gotta go. An 11-year-old black pacing gelding by drop-off from the in-the-pocket dam Sacra Posey. Owned and trained by Mike Campbell of Hanwell. Driven to victory this afternoon by Sam Hodgen. His second winner on the program, 1A, I gotta go. Stops the teletimer, 157 and 4.